Hey guys, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about going on vacation, so I decided I'm going to take a vacation today, and I'm going to take you with me as soon as I return on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hey guys, so welcome to the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where we talk about being financially independent, responsible for self, enjoying life, and empowering others, free. So today, you get a chance to go on vacation with me. That's right, I'm going to take you on vacation with me, and I'm also just do a little rambling as we go. But, you know, people are always talking about, hey, you know, I'm going to go vacation, I'm going to vacation. So today I'm going to take a vacation and you get to travel along. So let's go. All right. So anyway, we are going out the front door and voila. This is my vacation spot today, right in front of the house. So... We are set up and ready to have a vacation. Um, yep, so I don't have to go very far for my vacation, right? I mean, I got the mountains, you know, I got the fresh air, I got the peace, um, I got the scenery, I got everything. Now I got the tent, I got a telescope, and I'm ready for vacation. So, yeah. Yep, so anyway, guys. This is my vacation today, and today I, I got a question. Somebody asked me a question about, they, well, actually, I keep getting quite a few questions about the um, floor plan and how many bedrooms is the house and is there a living room. So today I just wanted to discuss that briefly. Now, if you haven't seen, there's a, a, another video. I'll put the link right here and you can go watch that video and it will show you the complete uh you know i do a it does a walk around through the house and uh, it, i show you a floor plan of the house so you can see it and uh, and i'll also put another floor plan back up just so you can see and i'll explain our reasoning because as it stands now the house does not have a living room okay let me repeat that the house does not have a living room right now and I'll tell you why it does not have a living room so when I went to build the house I had the architect Brandon uh, who's an architect and a builder he owns the company Migrating Culture that built my house and he's also an architect so I already had some floor plans that I purchased and I gave them to Brandon so he could actually alter those floor plans to accomplish what I wanted to have done and here's what I told him I said I'm thinking about building this house to be I don't know roughly 3,000 square feet or something uh, of that nature and I said I don't necessarily want to build it all right now I just want to build some of it I don't want to build the whole house so I wanted to build like mm, half of it and you know I didn't have all the money so I said I just want to build half of it now what you normally see people do here is that they'll invest in this large home and they'll start building that large house but because they can't finish the house the house looks unfinished for I don't know five to ten years they may have somebody staying in the house but it's it looks unfair they may stay in the house but it's unfinished because they didn't have enough money to finish the house so what I said is that I didn't want my home to look unfinished even though I'm only uh, have the money to build half I told him I did not want the home 
to look unfinished. So I said what we need to do is I need a floor plan where I can build half of the house now and it looks completely finished. But when I want to build the other half of the house, I could add that half on to the current house. And that way, it didn't look unfinished. So right now, if you go back to the video where I did a walkthrough through the house, then what you see is that um, I'll swing the camera around just so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look at the front door of the house, all right, so this front door, we intentionally did not put um, an actual, I go, hey. you guys are back, huh? Yes. Oh, and Kitty is happy. Yes. <laughs> hey. It is hungry. <laughs> hey, Kitty, what's going on? So Kitty just came up here. She's, she's used to me now. Hey, Kitty, how are you? They are back to feed you, huh? So, anyway. All right, so you can see this. We did not put like a steel door. Most homes on the front, you have like the uh, steel door, uh, security door. And so what we did is I just told them, you, you know, let's just put uh, two, you know, a, a double door that's wood. And once the house is finished, if we finish the house, then essentially uh, the house the other half starts right here and it goes out so that it's double the size that you see now so if we finish the house right now I would be standing like in the uh, the living room area this would be the living room area so um, so if we finish the house then that's where I would be and a kitty would be standing in the living room with me right Hey, Kitty, what's going on? You looking for food, huh? So, yeah, so this would be the living room. So, and then you would just have two additional rooms over here. So if we finish the house, if it was finished, it would be a four-bedroom, um, and you would have two bathrooms, and you would have your living room right here, and it would be like instead of a 1600 square foot house it would be a 3600 square foot house now right here where you see this window at it would just be like a counter so you can pass things from the kitchen over into like a wet bar so you'd have like a, a little wet bar area here so that um, you can pass things and then this window where you see over here this would become another uh, like a doorway um, to a room like a little hallway and a doorway so that you can go from this room or into the bathroom but this you know these uh, these uh, steel doors would come off and you would just have those wooden doors that open up to the living room so that's how it would be if we decided to finish uh, the house so since I've sold the house the new owners said that they may indeed finish the other half but people were asking me well how many bedrooms how many and we did it like this because now the way I did it you don't tell you can't tell that it's an unfinished house I've only finished half of the floor plan but you don't see that this is just half the house now if I had a went into this project with a floor plan where I started a 3600 square foot house and only finished half of that 3600 square foot house then it would look unfinished right it would look it would look unfinished if I had it did that so this is why I decided to build a floor plan where I could split it up and only have only built half of the house and I said okay you know at any point in time if I wanted to build the other half then I could easily do so by just adding it onto this house and um, so that's how we are doing it 
And so be, people were asking me about that. So I just wanted to clarify that exactly why you don't see a living room. Um, because right now there is no living room. But we have such a big kitchen, it's not really uh, a matter, you know, it's not really a problem not having a living room. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for the day. And if you enjoy what we're talking about, by all means, um, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And let me know what you think. Uh, does that make sense to you? Do you get it now? And also, you can always follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Eric McNeil is free. And as always, Oorah Ahuru. Now be free. <laughs>